This is the story of ASM. And like many great stories, it begins in the American West. In the late 1950s, a talented young entrepreneur named Arthur Del Prado travels to Silicon Valley. A pioneer, he recognizes its potential and begins working in the emerging semiconductor field. By 1958, he is back in the Netherlands with, in his own words, silicon in one hand and $500 in the other. The 60s, the space race, moon landings, technologies developing fast, shaping the future. Arthur works hard to establish his own business and in 1964, ASM is born in Bilthoven, the Netherlands. The company begins selling silicon and semiconductor production technologies. History is being written. On the other side of the Atlantic, the integrated circuit is invented, the start of a golden era for the industry. The first man lands on the moon, which is a giant leap for mankind. As the industry accelerates, Gordon Moore observes a trend that becomes known as Moore's Law, and ASM sees the future. The 70s, the first microprocessor chip is invented and the semiconductor industry really takes off. By 1971, ASM is transforming itself into an original equipment manufacturer capable of utilizing the trend. It is on the move. With the global appetite for semiconductor chips increasing, the company expands rapidly. Between 1975 and 1977, it establishes ASM Asia in Hong Kong, ASM America in Phoenix, and sells its first machine in Japan. ASM is innovating swiftly, launching a range of vital deposition tools, such as LPCVD and PECVD, as well as packaging techniques, propelling itself onwards. By the end of the decade, the company is ready for further breakthroughs. The 80s, accessible global technology. The PC is Time Magazine's Person of the Year and MS-DOS and Apple Macintosh launch. ASM is developing into a global semiconductor equipment powerhouse with new deposition tools such as Epsilon, the industry's first single wafer apotaxy system. In 1984, the company establishes a joint venture called ASM Lithography, introducing tools that enable the smallest of structures to be defined accelerating Moore's Law and customers' roadmaps. Later spun off as ASML, this entity becomes the world's lithography leader by 2002. ASM continues to expand its back-end operations, which provide critical assembly and packaging before a chip is installed in an electronic device. In 1988, the company publicly lists the operations as ASM Pacific Technology. In a little over a decade, ASM Pacific Technology will become the global segment leader. The 90s, internet, email, e-commerce and sophisticated mobile phones. The birth of future tech giants. The 90s are transformative for ASM. Competition within the semiconductor space is growing and companies are focusing on what they do best. ASM takes a bold step and refocuses its attention on its groundbreaking deposition technologies, laying the foundation for years of growth. The company launches the Eagle 10 Single Wafer PECVD reactor in 1992, which provides customers with high-quality plasma processes in an extremely robust design. This is followed two years later by the A400 Vertical Furnace, delivering high-quality batch processes coupled with tremendous productivity. As ASM continues to grow, so does its need for new offices, and by the mid-90s, the company has opened locations in South Korea and Taiwan. Then, in 1999, the company makes a game-changing investment, acquiring Finnish startup Microchemistry and a novel technology called Atomic Layer Deposition. It's the start of something truly special. The Zeros, a new millennium, new demands, bringing faster, cheaper and increasingly powerful chips. By the turn of the century, ASM foresees the need for novel semiconductor materials and processes, sparking accelerated innovation and a substantial increase in new patents. Following the 1999 acquisition of ALD technology from Microchemistry, 
In 2004, the company acquires Genetech, a supplier of plasma-enhanced atomic layer deposition. These cutting-edge processes enable advanced new semiconductor materials to be developed, leading to smaller chips with greater performance and lower energy consumption. For ASM, the jewel in the crown of this transformation is the introduction of the Pulsar ALD module in 2007, enabling next-generation high-K metal gate transistors and the further extension of Moore's law. The company's return to its original focus on semiconductor materials is complete. A year later, in 2008, Chuck Del Prado takes over from the founder and his father as CEO. It's the beginning of a new era. The 2010s, always on, social connectivity, artificial intelligence, with new challenges for semiconductor players. It's a new world and driving innovation alone is no longer sufficient. ASM also has to deliver excellence. In 2010, the company completes the consolidation of manufacturing operations in Singapore, FEMS, improving operational performance and enabling increased production capacity. Two years later, ASM introduces the single wafer product platform XP8, boosting PEALD productivity and benefiting customers through lower operating costs. The company also launches the innovative Intrepid Apotexi and Synergis ALD systems. Throughout the decade, the company engages with all top 10 semiconductor capital spenders and receives multiple supplier awards from its leading customers, highlighting its focus on excellence. In 2019, ASM achieves a financial milestone with sales of over 1 billion euros as it grows across multiple dimensions, driven by its leading position in atomic layer deposition. In 2020, the company's public listing on Euronext Amsterdam is included in the AEX index. In May, Benjamin Lowe takes over the reins from Chuck Del Prado. The next chapter is ready to be written. This is our legacy this is our story. Over the course of more than 50 years, ASM has grown into the highly successful semiconductor equipment technology supplier that it is today. Driven by vision, entrepreneurism, technological innovations, and a strong belief in contributing to the growth of digital technologies that benefit lives everywhere. Now and more than ever, we are ready to shape the future.